Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Android Daily. This week's app is Speak to It Assistant. This app is free in the Android market and basically it's Siri but for Android. It doesn't quite have all the features of Siri but there are some features to it. For example, go ahead and launch it now or on my Android smartphone. It would, uh, when you launch it, it would normally ask you, um, uh, glad to see you again, how are you doing, things like that. Obviously, I've recently just launched it, so I haven't said it. Uh, but to talk to it, I simply, uh, tap it, speak, hello, how are you? Hopefully it said that alright. Yep. Wonderful as always. Thanks for asking. Uh, for example, I can ask other things like, what's the weather like today? What's the weather like today? Hopefully it's that. I'm searching for you now. It shouldn't take long. The current weather for Thurrock is, mist, 48 degrees F, 9 degrees C. As you can obviously tell, there's a bit more work to be done, such as, you know, 48 F, uh, 9 C. It doesn't, it's not really make sense. Um, but it's a start. It's a start. So far, this is the best Siri alternative I've found uh, on Android. Uh, I can also ask it. I can also add things to uh, my to-do list. For example, I can go. I need to email my friends. Okay. What would you like me to write in your email? Have a meeting at four o'clock. This is the email we're about to send. Have a meeting at 4 o'clock. Now just enter the recipient and hit send. Uh, obviously, uh, you can't actually speak to the recipient yet. But again, it's a work in progress, as you can see. Have a meeting at 4 o'clock. It come up with everything. All I need to do is just send it. Um, so I can... Uh, uh, tell my friend something like, um, hang on, let me just check, double check the phrase for you here. I've got the page up on the Android Market. Tell my friends I'm recording a video. Hopefully that came out alright. You will have to log into your Facebook account Obviously, before we can do that. It, for some reason though, it takes you to the, the mobile version or in the internet browser of Facebook, doesn't actually take to the Facebook app so maybe they need to do some work there of detecting whether you've got a Facebook app on your Android phone uh, most phones come with it anyway um, so it will go on to Facebook and so I don't know if you can actually define which client it uses, I don't think yet but again it's a work in progress I can ask it things like um, Okay. Uh, let's see. What is a computer? What is a computer? A computer is a programmable machine designed to sequentially and automatically carry out a sequence of arithmetic or logical operations. Very correct there. Um, let's see. I can ask it where particular locations are if I'm. Um, uh, needing to go somewhere, so for example, I can say, uh, "Where is the nearest Tesco's?" Hopefully, that came out right. First things first. Let's figure out exactly where you are. Obviously, if I had GPS this enabled, this would be you better. Nearest Tesco's to your location. If I had GPS enabled, it would be a lot accurate, but I haven't got GPS on at the moment, so it's just using the Wi-Fi. Uh, takes a little while to load though Google Maps inside of this app but it works it's a good start as you can see I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera but it definitely did say this map will show you the nearest Tesco to your location so it definitely picked up my voice right oh it's gone off there uh, so there we are it's now come up with points on the map about where the nearest Tesco's are obviously I know where the nearest Tesco's are it's literally a five minute walk up the road from where I am 
Um, but yeah, that's the best Siri alternative I've found on Android so far. It is called Speak to Assistant. Uh, relative links below. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for liking this video. Rate and subscribe.